guys and welcome to a q a wwe edition but also maybe we're gonna have some questions here and there that are not related to wwe this actually reminds me of hashtag ask bunny that i used to do like six years ago on youtube i asked my patrons on my patreon to ask me anything they want it could be wwe related or anything else and here are the comments and the questions so let's head on and answer some of those Kenneth T asks, did you think you would get so into WWE with the first videos you reacted to? I mean, you are now watching Raw and SmackDown highlights and the PLEs. I actually am not only watching the Raw and SmackDown highlights. Right now, I'm watching the full versions or the 90-minute versions on Hulu. I promote it, okay? Like, I cannot just watch the highlights anymore. On YouTube, on WWE, they always spoil with the thumbnails and the titles, and it would take away from the whole reaction. Like, first view and experience and also there were so many missing parts that i couldn't connect it was definitely a good decision for me to watch the full event uh but back to the first section of the question do, do you think you would get so into wwe with the first videos you reacted to and kenneth is not the only one who asked me this there is plenty of questions that are similar like what got you into wwe did you imagine yourself to be like full-time youtuber who is reacting to wwe and the answer is simply no you guys as a reaction channel i used to react to everything that is like trending that i'm kind of interested in everything that i see the viewers are watching the engagement is high one of the videos that i reacted to it was like two years ago or almost two years ago girl reacting for the first time to wow moments in wwe and i got so many views and so many of you asked me to keep going and keep reacting to wrestling and it took me like one year to get the message and continue doing it and i saw that you guys really are genuinely interested in my reactions to wwe and i at the start did it as a of course following the trend and doing my job but then things just slowly shifted and i just wanted to know more and learn more and i didn't only make it as a reaction to wow moments but instead decided to educate myself as well as newcomers or even refresh your memory if you are a big WWE fan into going back to the history and the stars and the beginnings of WWE. And that's definitely something I did not expect happening. You can plan your life and you can expect things and have like this idea, but you never know where destiny takes you. See, the same message got from Higer Bomb Hebner. Hubner, I hope I didn't uh, butcher your name because I do that all the time. And he said, if you can pinpoint what exactly caused you to fall in love with wrestling, many people see it but dismiss it because it is silly or stupid, but you became attracted to not only the in-ring action, but also the story it's told in the ring to the point where I saw you got emotional several times during your reactions. So true. Uh, do you think you can explain what exactly made you love wrestling after seeing it for the first time? No, I can't. It just, I don't know. It got into, like, under my skin in a way, like... It's not just the inaction thing, as you say. It's this character development. It's this... Okay, like, for example, if we take Marvel and you have like the first iron man movies then we have an introduction to another character captain america then we have another one and another one and then their stories all like merge together and then we have this full story of the avengers and then we have the end game which is 10 11 years after so you have like 10 years of investment time emotions passions excitement and everything it becomes a part of who you are like a family member like the avengers became our second family and you want to see them succeed because you have really believed in them and invested time and money and whatever into them that you want to see them succeed at the end and that's why endgame was so major and so big for a lot of us even though it's a movie it's not reality it's fantasy it's fiction we still with our mind invest into stuff like that and i feel like the same happened with the bloodline story and then with cody finishing his story and stuff like that that got me into wrestling i think i really got into wwe at the right moment because there were so many things hyping us up and a lot of conclusion happening in wrestlemania 40 as well that reminded us of endgame andrew de corse de corse ask also andrew i want to say thank you so much for being a commentator on my patreon and like always being active i see you there he asked who is your favorite wrestler on the current roster roster and who would you like to be champion 
Oh my god. Okay, the current one, favorite wrestler. It's really hard to choose. I love, 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 love Cody Rhodes. I got so invested in his story. I love Seth Rollins, Roman Reign. I don't know if he's coming back, hopefully. But also like we have CM Punk, Drew McIntyre. Oh my god, there's so many. Gunther, oh my goodness. Okay, so when you say who would you like to be champion, Gunther in SummerSlam winning the World Heavyweight Championship and taking it from Damien would be really the best time for Damien to lose the title and the best time for Gunther to get a title. He deserves it. Am I the only one who thinks so? No, I don't think so. I think a lot of you think the same. He definitely deserves it. Carlos asked, are there any plans to collab with other wrestling YouTubers in the future? I would personally love to see you with guys like Ross or Wizzy Blonde. I actually don't know who Wizzy Blonde is, so I'm gonna just Google, but Ross is so amazing. Kicking it in with Ross. Yeah, I would love to. Maybe in the future if they can notice me or we can do like a collab reacting to maybe funny moments or wow moments from wrestling or just having like having them on a podcast and discussing stuff. Let me check. Chard BC asks, what were you thinking when you saw Maven's comment? I actually reacted to it before I started this Q&A and here's my reaction. Oh my God, you guys, I got a message um, from one of you saying on my Discord and telling me that Maven knows about me. And they sent me a clip. First clip is a shout out and the second clip something more like a comment. So this is the person, somebody from my community went to his live stream and mentioned me in the live stream with a donation as well. So I want to say thank you to whoever that was. I think he mentions the name. Let's see. And uh, Melshard Caranto. Again, guys, I, if... If I get, if I butcher your names, not intentional. I do the same all the time. Not intentional at all. I do that all the freaking time. It is so hard. Oh my god, I'm, I'm so excited to hear what he has to say. I can't believe you did this, by the way. Oh my god. There's a YouTuber named Bunny Mon who watched your videos. Can you react to her reacting to your videos? Write that down. You know. Oh you know what this reminds me of Tyrone Magnus when he was doing reaction to my reaction to his reaction and it went even further to him reacting to me reacting to him reacting to me like it was a reactception at one point we had so much fun this was like 10 years ago 9 10 years ago like that is insane how long I've been on YouTube and now again the same thing is happening oh my god he even said write that down like an idea or something take it off, take it off. perfect that is something that might be perfect for the uh, the membership aspect, membership side. Ooh, yeah. I'm actually, yeah, I do want to watch that. Yeah. Hold up, oh yeah, I'm gonna save that. I do want to. I the fact of somebody reacting to my stuff, yeah, I want to see that. Right, oh my god! Money? You know what's funny? I thought he's gonna say something like, "How does she not ask for permission to react?" But that's not Maven. That he would never say that. He's such a humble guy. But I was a bit scared. I was, I was like, "Oh no!" I reacted to his videos and I didn't even get a permission for <laughs> like, Oh no! That is terrible. That is terrible, you guys. But you are the ones who recommended the video, and yeah, turned out good. Hey, man. Yeah. All right, yeah, this I'm not gonna make horrible, horrendous television, but oh God, give me the next one. Me. Yeah, that's a he's uh, I do want to bunny mine. I do want to see somebody like the in the reacting to my the fact that anybody ah, oh, she's not ugly, that's for damn sure. She's not ugly. Yeah, all right. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> calls me ugly again in the comment i will say maven does not think so so okay <laughs> this is this will be my reply to any hater out there ah oh, thank you so much thank you thank you i appreciate it it's getting hotter in here yeah i'm gonna watch that i want to see watch she probably shits all over me she's like no hey, never no how 
would I even? How would I even, bro? Like, you dude have taught me so much about devil Eagle. Did I call him a dude? I just called him a dude. You maven have taught me so much about wrestling. I don't think he'd be watching this, but like, let's let's pretend he will. I am so appreciative and grateful to the knowledge that you have that you decided to share with us and inform us about wrestling. Especially to the people who are like me, who just got into it and don't know shit about it and want to learn more, but they don't have a lot of info out there. And you make it so simple and so entertaining in your videos. I enjoy watching your videos so much. I want you to keep going, keep sharing, never stop, never doubt yourself. And hopefully, who knows what the future brings, but I would die if I ever get on that level to be able to have any type of discussion with you. Like hop on Discord, talk about whatever you want whatever you want give me the questions i'll ask you but like i want that happening one day like i genuinely would love that from a professional wrestler to someone who just became a wrestling fan oh my god i think that's a good idea what do you think guys yeah this is amazing thank you so much whoever did this you made my day i am beyond grateful to the community for actually caring about me and actually caring about wrestling and bringing us all together and this would not have happened without you so thank you so much appreciate you Chaz asked which character of windham rotunda aka bray wyatt do you like the most that you have seen so far white family bray wyatt deleter of worlds bray wyatt when he tagged with matt hardy Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt, his Mr. Rogers version, The Fiend, Burnt Fiend, or Bray's last run with Uncle Howdy. Now, the thing is that I haven't followed every single Bray Wyatt persona. However, the ones that really stuck with me, especially after watching the documentary, Bray Wyatt's documentary, are The Fiend and the Firefly uh, Funhouse Mr. Rogers version as well as the Uncle Howdy one. So one of his latest or le last works before we lost such a great and legendary wrestler and a person and an artist. Unfortunately, rest in peace, Bray Wyatt. I would personally choose The Fiend, not even The Burnt Fiend, but like The Fiend. It's like the whole design, the mask and everything, the inspiration where he got it from. I actually found an article by Sports Kita. And the title is Five Movie TV Show References That Inspired Bray Wyatt's WWE Characters. If you go with the feed, Bray Wyatt, it contributes a bizarre aspect to WWE's weekly programming. Every dedicated fan of Wyatt has often contemplated how precisely his ingenious creative process works, where he did get the inspiration for such a character. And if you go actually further with the article after they contemplated every single Bray Wyatt's inspiration, they come up with the conclusion that the Fiend is an inspiration of the DC's Joker character. And not any Joker character, but the new 52 version of the Joker from the comics. I went further and literally searched for that and I saw this picture, as well as this one, and this one. And you kinda can see it right you kind of can't see it like it's so grudgy every like the smile and everything like it does remind you of the joker like this forced smile and also like the eyes and everything and how the mask literally rips through his skin i think um he definitely got inspired by something like that there's even a comment by scarborough and he said clearly it gives off the new 52 joker vibe but that's on me the mask is as much joker as it is leatherface or hannibal lecter i personally am a massive batman fan have been all of my life so in my head it clearly feels like that new 52 iteration but we all knew full well that wasn't what we were making so yeah it has that it definitely has a lot of scary kind of themes like it was done so well now the uncle howdy one is the one that we are stuck with and we are developing today with bo dallas and i can't wait to see his creation continue living furthermore with his brother and the rest of the wyatt six and the wyatt family so i'm really happy to see that uh, it didn't end with him it just started with him david forbes asked in the future could you make a poll using the top five or more most like suggestions from us when it comes to the best technical wrestling matches for you to react to and he mentioned the chris benoit i don't know what technical matches really mean 
So I actually had to go further more and check out that. And I found an article that said the greatest technical wrestling matches of all time. Technical wrestling focusing on pure skill and grappling mastery has birthed classics like Bret Hart versus Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania or Kurt Angle versus Chris Benoit at the Royal Rumble 2003. These matches epitomize technical finesse, strategic maneuvers and ring psychology, captivating aficionado with their pure wrestling artistry oh my god i butchered every word because english is not my native language but david also mentioned the chris benoit one versus kurt angle from the 2003 royal rumble so i feel like that should be a must and probably the next one would be this one so top five technical matches i don't know you let me know which are the top five before i make a poll i might actually just make a poll for these two the bret hart versus Shawn michael versus the Kurt Angle uh, versus Chris Benoit and see which one wins first. Hmm. Ben Pitts asked, what is your favorite match type stipulation? There are so many match types. I didn't even know there are so many. List of WWE match types. Second City Strap Match, Ladder Match, Money in the Bank Ladder Match, Table Match, Elimination Chamber Match, Hell in a Cell Match, Dead Man's Chest Match, Tower of Doom Match, Inferno Match, Multi Competitor Match, Non Elimination Matches, Championship Scramble, Triple Threat Match, Basic Elimination Matches, Royal Rumble, Series Variation, Beat the Clock Match, Three Stages of Hell. Huh? Ah, oh, Tag Team Match Variations as well. <laughs> what? Okay, you guys, I. Don't know half of these hell in a cell i quit match would be my favorite and royal rumble definitely 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 100 i love how morbid the hell in a cell and i quit match and i quit match and a hell in a cell match are two of the most painful matches but putting them together and what do you get an absolute blood fest well yeah yeah i definitely get bloody there at Hell in a Cell 2020, Roman Reigns and Jey Uso went right for AAT. It's at it? I don't know what it is. And was an amazing match between amazing wrestlers. It turned when The Miz and AJ Style had the same match in 2004. It returned, not turned. I don't know how to read. So the AJ Styles and Miz match, Roman Reigns and Jey Uso match from 2020. Interesting. Maybe I should react to those. But yeah, and Royal Rumble was one of the first like PLE or events that I have seen and reacted to live on stream with you guys. So it leaves a special place in my heart. But yeah, I would choose those two types. What about you? The Batman had like such a long comment, which I definitely appreciate. There are three questions there and I feel like I answered the first and the second question. However, the third question was, if you were given a chance, what changes would you like to see in the WWE for the women's division? I'm happy you ask that because i did make a short reacting a reaction about the new titles that are being introduced to the women's uh, matches and the women's division and i'm happy to see that everything has been improving and changing like if you take the money in the bank event the women's division one and the women's match they definitely outperformed themselves and in my opinion it was even so much better than the men's one and i was so entertained women have proved over and over again that they deserve the attention that the men are getting in wwe so i am so proud for the new titles i hope we get more stories not only related to the champions like we right now have a storyline with Liv Morgan and the Revenge Tour, Mommy as well. So I would like to see more of these type of stories that are highly developed and really, really entertaining. Dog asked if you could go back in time and get a ringside seat at any WrestleMania, which one would you pick and why? Unfortunately, I haven't seen a lot of WrestleManias, but you have to go with the first one. Hulk Hogan versus Mr. T. Also, we do have legends like Muhammad Ali, referee, and like just the fact that it is the first one, like you want to say I was at the first one. John asked, one finisher move that you wouldn't want to take? RKO out of nowhere. Like those you don't even expect and they're hard as if. But not that I know all the finishers. I still have to learn a lot. So yeah, for now, it's RKO. Maybe I'll change my opinion in the future. Uh, Yellow asked, if you were a wrestler, would you prefer to be a heel or a face then which one do you feel matches your personality the best i 
to be honest with you i think heels have more fun and it makes their life a bit easier because if you get a lot of haters from the audience you can like trash talk back to them and get it out of your chest but if you're a baby face you have to like keep it all in and it's not healthy for you and i feel like heels always get more fun it's like with villains villains always have more fun than uh, superheroes but superheroes are there to bring back the balance and do the right thing even if it's not like that fun <laughs> So yeah, but I don't think I would be a good heel. Like I think I would crack laughing and lose lose my demeanor and my acting is not that good. I'm just like a nice person and if I see someone really hurting or I would like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. <laughs> so I don't know, but I would love to be a heel more than a baby face. But I think eventually I would end up being either a baby face or something in the middle. Yeah. Okay, guys, since this video was really long, let me know if you want part two. I don't know if it's going to be on YouTube or on my Patreon, but if it is on YouTube, let me know if you want part two. There's so many questions. I'm so grateful for all of these. There's a lot, a lot of questions. Some of them are like on re repeat like your favorite matches uh, types your favorite wrestlers or feuds uh what got you into wwe like these are questions i have answered but if you want me to like make more comprehensive talk or commentary about it maybe i can make a separate video and talk more in details about these things but yeah that's it for today i hope you enjoyed it i hope i didn't ramble a lot i would definitely love to talk more about wwe and make more videos like this i did tell people to like ask me anything but the questions that i got that are not related to wwe where like what is your favorite movie i mean like i don't really have a favorite movie it would be moulin rouge as a romantic movie with uh, evan evan mcgreg i don't remember his last name it's a bit hard and and uh, nicole kidman yeah it was such a good movie i loved it uh, but it has nothing to do with WWE. And like, for example, Danny asking, how did you come up with the name Bunny Mon? I mean, to be honest with you, it was like, uh, it was Bunny Girl. And then I'm not a girl anymore. I am a woman. So I wanted to change it to something a bit more professional or a bit different. So because if you type Bunny Girl as a search engine, you get a lot of, uh, yeah, weird and sus things. And I didn't want to be related to that anymore. So I changed it to Bunny Mon. And the funny thing is that people are constantly trolling me and saying Bunny Man instead of bunny mon and i'm like no it's like monster like a bunny monster like i'm a small little monster yeah so yeah i don't know where i came up with the name it just happened but that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed guys thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one please type in the chat part two we want part two so i can make part two because i really want to like chit chat with you more <laughs> that's it have a wonderful day see you bye Welcome.